Is it uh, more advantageous or less advantageous of having a shorter layoff between series? I know you guys are a little restless with a week off before Vancouver coming in here. Yeah, uh, you can look at it both ways. Uh, we're just ready to, to get going here. Uh, and yeah, I think we feel fresh uh, coming off a big win, and, and now we got to reset and, and get ready for tonight. When your penalty kill is at its best, what are you doing well? Uh, I think just having good sticks all over the ice, uh, pressuring, uh, getting getting pressure on their entries, getting loose pucks, and then clearing the puck and, and winning those uh, stick battles. That's the main thing, I think. When Chris got here, that seemed like one of the first things he wanted to do was to just really identify who the core penalty killers were going to be and kind of give you that responsibility. Do you kind of appreciate that as a group? And yeah, uh, we kind of went to more more pairs. Uh, so we, we kill with, with the same people um, most of the time. Uh, makes it a little bit easier. Uh, gain some chemistry off of that, uh, and then as the year goes on, you, you play with a little different, but uh, uh, that helped for sure. Just late in the Vancouver series, it seemed like your fourth line and your line was really kind of coming on. Did you feel that, and why did you think that? Uh, yeah, uh, for sure. I think in the middle there, uh, the ice time was a little bit lower, and then I think uh, we started rolling a little bit more uh, and on four lines and made, made it a little bit easier and made... Uh, uh, yeah, made our job a, a little bit more important, and uh, yeah, we got going a little bit there. What's, what's your game, like your line's game? When are you guys at your best? Uh, try to play in there and try to try to tilt the ice a little bit. Uh, uh, try to have the, have the puck in there and be strong on the puck, and then uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, like I said, tilt the game a little and then uh, change and, and set the other guys up and and with a tilt. Well, the ice tilted a little. Sorry, my apologies. Uh, just back to the beat, the PK. Uh, you guys are very aggressive on it. I guess is that the key? Is like structured but aggressive, trying to trying to force plays. Is force sitting back. Yeah, uh, for sure. Uh, we're uh, we're a pressured kill, probably more more so than a lot of teams around the league uh, right now. Uh, and yeah, like we want to we want to don't want to give them time. Uh, try to get them out out of their setup. Uh, and then, like I said, it's all about winning, winning the battles and, and having good sticks uh, off of that. What's the best way to not let Jamie Ben get engaged emotionally, physically, and seriously the way he can? Like what's, what's the best way to handle that guy when he gets going? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's a good player. Uh, I think you just play your game. Uh, I think this, this whole playoffs, we try to stay out of, out of scrums and, and, and that stuff. Uh, so try to do that. And... Yeah, otherwise just, just play and uh, yeah, keep your head up and, and play hockey. Ryan Have the puck. Sorry, Ryan mentioned the coaching change. What, what is Chris' demeanor meant for this group, his calm demeanor? You know, he calls the timeout in game seven. He made some, some big calls in the last series, you know, goaltending changes, you know, lineup changes. What is his demeanor meant to this group? Yeah, uh, he's been very calm all year. Uh, and I think in the position we were uh, when he came in, that helped. And... and and it's kind of spread through the team uh, throughout the year, and, and we've had some some good results. And and like you said, in, in a game like like that, when things crumble a little, you get pressured, and, and things are falling apart. To kind of take that time out and, and reset and start over. And I think we we played pretty good from from there on out. And yeah, that's been been going on the whole year. You guys uh, won probably five of the last six periods of that of your last series. You pulled away game five. Is that a confidence boost coming in here? Did you come out of that series with momentum for how well you played in the last two games? Uh, yeah, I mean you can look at it both ways, uh, but but at the, at the end of the day, it's it's a new series starting tonight, and and they're coming off a big big OT win in Colorado, so I think we're both carrying momentum into this series uh, as you should. Uh, but yeah, it's about who can reset and and get to work uh, tonight. Having any familiarity with this team mean anything to you? Does it help you? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's been a couple of years now since I was here, uh, but I had the, the coaching staff before, uh, played with a lot of the players, so for sure there's some familiarity there and try to take advantage of that. Don't you always score against your old team? <laughs> yeah, um, hopefully you can keep that going, but we'll see.